it in full swing as we get set for basketball here in the San Francisco Bay. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. A Coro out there with Kevin Love. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Warriors, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brother, in the backcourt. Wiseman's out there with Draymond Green. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. On its way from Curry for two. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And it's Green missing. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. And well, Garland, the fifth overall pick back in 2019, had a slow start to his career, but around the midway point, he, he really started to take off. And you wonder, Greg, in that rookie campaign, if that's a bit of somebody realizing the length of an NBA season. And maybe he made a bit of an adjustment in his body. Now in his second year, we can see some of the fruits of his labor in the offseason and him developing. Garland, the pass to Okoro. And here is Allen. And Sexton has it in the corner. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Kubre comes in for Clay Thompson. Here's Curry. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. How about that finish by Steph there? He's just a master at altering his shot after he hears the whistle and gets the contact and finishes. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the game right now. The Warriors making a switch here. Toscano's checked in. That's good from Stephen Curry. And, of course, having that broken hand last season, Curry couldn't help the Warriors avoid a disastrous season. Kevin Durant gone. Clay rehabbing. The Warriors, I mean, legitimately just left with no scoring whatsoever. But Steph Curry, he's healthy. He changes that whole narrative. Well, good to see Garland score the ball without dominating it. Here's Curry. Pops in the layup for two. Curry's got five points so far. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. The Warriors on top, up by three. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. And earlier, we spoke with Clay Thompson about the value of something. Realize how easy it is to get looks from him using his big body. Greg, you think about the championships they've won together. Incredible connection between these two. Yeah, I mean, they have different styles, play different positions, but both are tough, competitive, and step up when it matters most. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And the Warriors guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stance-wise? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, you don't see that all that often, getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. you got to respect the game plan. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And Golden State, looking at who they've got. They've got Kent Bazemore. Looney out there with Oubre, and it's Poole in at point. Here's Osman, covered by Oubre, and then slams it in. Yeah, this is a nice connection with Larry Nance Jr. Throw it his way. He'll take care of the rest. 
we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And Poole gets it to go. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Second shot opportunity. And Garland with the lay-in. Garland's got his second basket. Well, Garland has some pretty good body control, even at 6-1. Good job of staying on balance that time. Pass to Looney. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Bazemore passes to Poole. Six to shoot. No good on that one. Cavaliers leading. Here's Windler. Garland stayed with it, but they couldn't get it to fall. And now here's Oubre. Fast break chance. No good with the elbow jumper. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Cavaliers lead by one. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. They kept at it on both ends of the floor, and at the end of the period, they had a slight deficit of three points. They were a determined... <laughs> and that'll do it. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that the lead can do to slow him down. He, he's just that good. Yeah, avalanche warning in this one. He is just on a roll. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with the coral. And it's Allen in at the five, down low. Okoro passes to Allen. That's tipped. Greg, you and I talk about the big man, his role in the current NBA, and how they can possibly carry the standard for the great centers before them. You played with the great one, and, and Patrick Ewing, so you have a great appreciation, I would, I would think, for it. Oh, no doubt about it. And, and I think two guys kind of separated themselves a little bit. Uh, Nikola Jokic and, and Joel Embiid, I, I think, are the two guys that stand out for me because of their ability, in, in essence, to do everything well. They can shoot it, they pass it, they can shoot it from the free throw line, they give you rim protection. Uh, I, I throw Rudy Gobert up there as an elite center as well. Doesn't have the offensive impact that those guys have, but he does impact the game as well. Three young dynamic centers. Those are good names. Green against Love. Over Green. Love with the bucket. Love's got his first basket. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Here's Wiggins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And flashing some real toughness inside. Wiggins can finish plays that others simply can't. Ireland with it. Curry meets him. It's stolen by Wiseman. And here we go. Fast break. Wiggins has got it. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Isaac Okoro did not like that. And what a powerful player Wiggins can be. Dunks like this remind you of that elite level athleticism. Here's Sexton. Beat the clock. Count it. He caught it. That's how you do it. Stay patient. Wait for the opportunity. And, and we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Warriors ahead, leading by just one. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Made my own 
And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. They lead by one. Steph Curry's out there with lead. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Draymond Green. And it's Wiseman in at the five spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. The shot's good. Cutting into that deficit now. Well within striking this just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. Here's Sexton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on James Wiseman. And be cautious around Sexton. He's very good at seeking out contact and did it there. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two here. And the Warriors making a change here. Oubre is checked in. And Sexton drops them both. And he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Out to lead. We've got 118 left to play in the final quarter. Lays it up and banks it in. Lee's got the lead up to three now for the Warriors. And challenging the bigger defender coming through in the biggest moment. Yeah, this is a big time moment. And so him stepping up his intensity, staying in attack mode, that's nice. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. The Cavaliers is shooting well. 50% from the floor. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Great D that time from Green. Here's Curry with the three. Laces one from three. And such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Timeout called Cleveland. They're behind by four. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And his job is to give them a spark to the story tonight. And he did not disappoint. They were going to keep going to him until the D showed they could stop him. And since they haven't been able to, he just kept piling up the numbers. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during the break, I listened in on J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. He told him, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Kevin is trying to keep him focused. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. Everything that Curry does seems to be fast. He shoots it fast, makes quick decisions with the ball, great ball handling with quick hands. Opponents at a loss with how to guard Steph Curry. Perfectly done at the strike there. That brings their lead up to an even more comfortable level. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They trail by six. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? It's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And staying with the play, Allen. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. And now they foul and stop the clock. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Bring both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And so here's Cleveland. No time to waste on this possession. Time is not on their side right now. They're aware. Here's Garland. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And he commits the intentional foul. 
That's his second At the line of the He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Eight seconds left in the game. From deep, Prince. They grab their own miss. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Some 